hello on this beautiful rainy day. Let me show you. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't rain just spectacular? Oh my gosh, and snow is even better. Oh my goodness, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> anyway, what a beautiful day. We're all tucked away in our home and I got to spend an enormous amount of time with my children and I've been trying to clean the kitchen and you know, I have a new method. I have a method, see? I, used to, I usually run from this side and then over here and I get distracted and I go over there and over there. So I just said, you know what? I start here on this side and I clear that away and then I go over here and I keep making my way around. So now I'm cleaning the stove. And you just keep going around the kitchen like that. I find it very helpful and to stay focused because otherwise you feel like you're like, or you know, you're going out of your mind. You're over here, you're over there. But I got the Christmas music on and I don't know. There's just love in the air. Love is in the air all the time. Yeah. Let me show you some artwork with those with those, um, oh my gosh, what are these things called? Nice, see, you fill up the windows with beauty. Lovely, right? I love artwork from the children. What I love is making, oops, you okay? What I love is making the house a home making sure that you know instead of dreading cleaning but just loving to do it right for the family so that when they come again it's nice for them it's like being home again wait a minute we are home i'll let you in on a little something this was at niagara falls that was when we were single yeah we took a trip out there and there's our wedding. I got it! All right, I washed everything down, took everything off, cleaned it, it's back to normal. Things are looking good around here. Do you ever hear this, um, this kind of music? They're Latin hymns. This is the kind of mass I'm used to. This is not my mass. I just found this online for, for traditional Christmas hymns. Catholic Christmas hymns. It's wonderful, wonderful. That's when the altar boy puts the incense towards us so that our prayers will go to heaven. Isn't that wonderful? Oh my goodness. All right, so onward in this rainy day, I spent so much time with the kids today. I feel so good when I spend time with my children. I cannot have it any other way and I would not want it any other way. So we're gonna get cooking again and again and again. And you know, I think I, this morning I was meditating upon the thought that I don't really need to make a ton of meals. I just have to make like a few during the week, keep it in the refrigerator so people can just keep on, like, so when I make meatballs, you make a ton of them and then people could just go in. Cause we're not the type of family. I know we like to do it, but when we do, we do, but oftentimes it's not that way where we're just sitting down eating at that table. Now and again, yes. And when we do, we love it. But for the main part of it all, I cook big batches of things. My husband got me in the habit of that. And just whenever anybody wants anything, they go and they eat it. And then if they don't want that, then they're on their own to make little doodad things. You see what I mean? But yes. So to call people forth, I found, oh my gosh, I found, I think I told you this yesterday. You're looking at apple cider. Yes. I had to keep it out here because I have no room in my refrigerator. Apple cider. And did I tell you, oh my gosh, they have it in the stores now. 
Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, where is it? Where'd I put it? Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. I'll be right back. Look, everybody, look, I found it. They sell it. I don't drink it. I never cared for the thought of it. But we do. But they do. Okay. So let's look at this. 21 grams of sugar in a half a cup. Like, hello. Oh, great. A fly is going in my refrigerator. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, so the milk is okay. The cream is great. Sugar, high fructose corn syrup, bad. Very bad. And then the yellow, five and six, and red. Oh, my gosh. Those are deadly, can I tell you. It is quite a shame that we have to be so conscious about all this horror in our foods but if you don't pay attention you will eventually and you might say well look at so and so they lived a long time like my in-laws lived forever but i really seriously don't think that they ever put any of the horror that's in our food today because bantos go look at that up. go look that up online they're a big big company that is trying and succeeds at getting rid of all of the natural farmland. They try to sue the hell out of them, if you will. And um, so they have to close. I just love, I feel like, you know, the only way to describe life to me is, I feel like we're all tucked away. I always use that because it's like a safe, a safe way of looking at it. A safe way to describe it we're all tucked away in our home the world is so big and so beautiful but yet so dangerous and I just love these times of family and I know that someday it won't always be this way where I have my children underneath my roof you know but I love I love making my house a home. I, I delight in, I delight in helping them. I delight in, in helping them make the best of a workspace. Like this house, this home is their workspace for everybody, even my husband, right? It's so fun. Okay, we're cooking up some I don't know, like a Chinese meal, really. So I cook everything separately because everything is made separately because um, of the, the consistency, right? Or the, so this is harder than the broccoli, so I do it separate and then put them together after. I'm making more because my daughter was eating it. And I mix some olive oil with uh, some Bragg's soy sauce way healthier and non-GMO and what else and I put a little Dijon mustard a squirt in there and a tiny bit of fresh ginger and just mix that up until we get a little al dente it's fun being the tester mm, a little bit more I did add a little garlic to this one here and I'm just making more, like I said, because my daughter was eating it, and I felt terrible depriving her. All right. So I took some cabbage, and I like it a little long to make it look like a noodle. And then we'll just fry that up. Saute it up. Again, with olive oil and the same ingredients as I told you before. I don't add more garlic to the seed because I already added a lot to that. Oh, wow. No, I mean the heat in your mouth. I added some soy sauce. You want to try it? Wow, it's spicy. Try that little hot. Mm -mm. 
but I think all this mixed with that, it won't be so bad. Doesn't that look beautiful? So we mixed it all in, made sure that we mixed it very well so that the other vegetables get the hot stuff. So I have some bamboo shoots. They look like this. I'm going to throw it in here as well. It makes a nice, uh, oh, this is not Italian. A nice uh, Chinese food. And then of course, the, oops, it's upside down, water chestnuts on an open fire. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna make a bean salad. So we're gonna mix this up too. Now, if they were eating this right now, I would warm those up, but they're not, and this is all gonna go in the fridge. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is where I put the chicken thighs, because chicken thighs are healthier than chicken breast. Can you believe it? Pure sesame oil. This is where I would put it in. I never did this in my life. But I'm gonna do it now. Okay, I got the oil in there, and I got my soy sauce. It's an alternative soy sauce. Oh, right, salt. This is some um, Himalayan salt from Himalayan mountains. Beautiful. And that is it. So I'm flipping it over. Call me strange, but I put holy water on all the meat that I cook because, I don't know, I have a heart for the animals when they die. I don't like it. I don't agree to it. I'm not eating this myself, but I'm doing it for my family. So here's my holy water I keep here. And I got holy oil. So I just turned this over. This is I put that on there so that just to be more compassionate towards the animals, kind of like when the Indians give thanks, you know, and now they're going to eat this thing. So it's like that, you know, but mine is more only, mainly for like, so they don't feel the pain. So basically praying for them, um, even though, cause God is in all time. It's not only in right now that he is. So my prayers are helpful for when they died. So I'm gonna cut this into little pieces. So I cut up some tangerine you can use an orange you can also orange chicken I have no idea how to make that I never investigated it but I am going to sprinkle the skin the rind just a little bit I left some on there and then squeeze some of that in there too why not do I know how this is gonna taste absolutely not and I also cut it into strips just like you would see in one of those bagged um, meals, the frozen ones. Mix it all in and wait. To hurry along the process and to keep it really soft inside, we'll keep all the moisture in by adding a lid. So it looks like it's almost there and what I'm gonna do is, you know how you're the burner has two different sizes, a larger one and then a smaller one. I put it on small and then I put it on low. And we'll, I know for beef, if the longer you cook it, the more it'll get soft, like in a crock pot. So it's in its fat, see the fat juice? That's good. That's what you want. So the moisture should stay in. That's all. All right, so I put it in. And I'm gonna mix it in now. So there it is, all steamed up. And we're gonna mix it in real well. Are you watching this TV? Yes, I am. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of this fat. No. All right, just a little bit. All right, there we are. Right. I'm leaving it in the bowl. And I'm gonna put the lid on it so that it'll just get really tender. Hey, we're on our way to surprise my daughter, but my son doesn't know, and he's coming with us. Nobody notes anything. Wow, isn't this beautiful weather? Oh my gosh, it's such a gift. Oh, I love it. Ah. 
Here he comes. Ta-da! Like, so like, he learned like a month ago, and now he can do them so good. Mr. Fry. Sierra Hinders. Hello. <laughs> Sierra Hinders. Why are you saying that? Because if he wasn't afraid, he'd be doing flare whips right now. I, no, we do it on resin. This is scooter language. Car ride is like a baby being rocked to sleep. I'm tired now. Oh boy, we're gonna get something. We're gonna get something that my daughter can edit on beautifully. Look at my son. I love him. Yeah. I do. I'm his <laughs> biggest fan. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're caroling along Best Buy. Following Mr. Fry in Best Buy. <laughs> We're surprising my daughter because she is an editor. She is an everything computer. Pretty. Whoa. What is this? Hello. Hey, it's a breakthrough speaker with amazing Yo, what's sound. Good? It brings together Apple Music and Siri to learn your taste in music. Yo, what's the speaker is talking to Seth. So we're gonna surprise my daughter. She has no idea. This has been her dream so that she can edit. That's her profession. So this is inside of a computer? Is that right? Like for gaming? No, oh, I guess so. So you want to get the very best for your child if they have an interest, right? So that's what we had to do. We had to get a great editing system for one of our children so that her career counts on it. You don't know. This is unschooling. 